Hi, I'm Jim, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about the saltless water softener, um, salt-free water softener, which are really water conditioners. And what I'd like to share with you is why you want to buy one over some of all the other stuff that's on the market. Now, if you've got a water softener idea in your head and you're thinking, I don't want a water softener because you got to put salt in it, um, if you're on a low sodium diet, you kind of want to share or shy away from water softeners because they will put sodium ions back in the water that you drink. Now, you can do something else and get a reverse osmosis system, which I suggest 100% across the board because it makes purified water. And I'll leave you a link for that place as well at the bottom of the video. But um, I want to tell you by experience that the saltless water softener system that you can purchase on this um, site down below in the uh, description down there it works now I used to own a water softener company and I started selling those products the saltless uh, water conditioner and before I sold it I put one in my house now I had a water softener and I had an iron filter and hydrogen sulfide filter because I lived on a water well. So I did my research, um, I got it uh, sized correctly and I put it in my house. I shut off my water softener but I had to leave my iron filter in because I had iron in my water and the iron will coat the beads. So this was the result. I still had um, no water spots on my shower doors and I had completely enclosed shower doors it was 100% glass and then I had no water spots on my um, dishes and everything worked just like a regular like it was soft water it lathered and uh, the skin was smooth the only difference was inside my dishwasher kind of where you, you shut the door it, it built up some scummy stuff like it didn't dissolve the food or something um, but I, it didn't do it like it was super nasty it was just a little piece there I didn't like it and we just had to wipe it off probably once a month and that was fine um, it saved me on salt and the bottom line was it worked and I've seen the electrical gadgets work and I've seen the electrical gadgets not work it just depends on the composition of the water and I've heard about the other saltless water systems out there um, don't know if they work, don't know if they don't work. Um, I, I don't try and get negative about other people's products. I want to stay positive about the products that I sell. And the one below works. Now I've had it put on, I, I installed them on uh, well water and I installed them on city water. Now this is the thing. If you have well water and you have iron in your water, then you need to get an iron filter because the iron will coat the beads and they won't be effective. If you've got city water, you want to get a carbon filter, and uh, that will stop the um, chlorine from dissolving the, the beads in there, which will shorten the life expectancy. The same way with the iron, it will shorten the life expectancy. And so you're going to have to pay a little extra for these two filters, but at the site below, if you just click through and get an iron filter, or click through and get a carbon filter, then um, what you've got is probably a thousand dollars invested more or less and you've got good water if you buy it from a vendor or from a company you know water softener rep or water filter rep you're gonna spend three times that easily these prices here are phenomenally inexpensive and that's why I'm promoting them because they're inexpensive and they work now um, if you have a have been thinking about a water softener then like I said you're gonna to want to get a reverse osmosis system which I'll list down there as well because it does put sodium ions back into the water where this water conditioner it just won't do that so it does work um, you just need a filter before if you've got iron and if you need a uh, filter before if you've got chlorine like you're on city water now I've used this in one other application and it worked I had people with soft water which was like one or two grains hard but they still had white film 
on their um, their countertops and stuff. And so what I did was I put one of these saltless water conditioners on there, and there was uh, so little. See, the problem with them was they had sodium in their water, or TDS, total dissolved solids, and that's what showed up on their countertops. Well, if I would have put a water softener on there, it would have created more, had, had put more sodium ions in the water, and they still would have had the white residue. So I put one of these on there, and they stopped getting the buildup, and they didn't have the white residue anymore, and their water remained the way it was, kind of soft. I mean, it was basically it's considered soft. One to three grains hard is considered soft, but um, it worked for them, and they didn't need to put uh, a water softener in. So if you've got soft water, like one to three, but you're still getting some calcium buildup and you're still getting some white uh, residue on your countertops and stuff, then you want to get one of these as well. So it serves more than one purpose other than just conditioning your water so that it feels soft and whatnot. And naturally, your water, your, uh, the calcium won't stick inside your pipes and give you water spots on your dishes and your um, shower doors and whatnot. So take a look below. These are super inexpensive prices. I'm telling you, I bought them for just a little more than what they're being sold on here, and I sold them for three and four times more when I owned my own company. All right, this is a good product. It works great, and you'll be uh, happy with your purchase. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll answer them um, on the video. I certainly appreciate your time. And uh, don't be afraid to share us or uh, subscribe to any of the other videos that we come up with. All right. Thank you. And you have a great day.